we're now going to discuss how to make your own organic potting mix and some of the key ingredients that we're going to need to do this is peat moss some compost some perlite some dolomitic lime and some other uh, stuff that we will um, pop in here to give some good nutrients to your your potting medium okay this here is dolomitic lime and dolomitic lime is used to increase the pH levels of any acidic soil or growing medium that you're using. In this case, it's going to raise the pH for the peat moss because the peat moss, by nature, is very acidic. It has that low pH. Also, the dolomite mineral is used to make the dolomitic lime. And it consists of 50% calcium carbonate and 40% magnesium carbonate. And it gives those minerals to the soil very well. Uh, your plants love it. Here we're looking at the soil conditioner or the compost. I happened to purchase this at Home Depot because it was on sale. You can also go to your nursery to buy them in bulk as well. Um, by the way, that particular uh, dolomitic lime, I suggest you go to a nursery when you purchase it. That was a 50 pound bag and I paid six or seven dollars for it. The perlite, as you see here, you also want to purchase from a nursery as well because you can get this big giant bag and I spent about twelve thirteen dollars for it I believe so you're gonna save a lot of money purchasing them in this size you're gonna hear me using the term parts quite a bit what that means is any quantity needed so if you're using five gallon buckets to be your measurement tool and I say one part peat moss, one part compost, one part perlite. In essence, I'm telling you one five gallon full of peat moss, one full of compost, and one full of perlite. That's your measurements. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to pass the camera to my wife, Nora, and I'm going to get started on the mixing. So we're going to start by using the scooper here, and that's going to be my parts. And I'm going to put two parts of soil conditioner into my mixing tub. One tub, two parts. Okay. Now we're going to go into the peat moss. Now keep in mind, peat moss is very dry when you purchase it. So the day before you use it, or at least a couple of hours before you use it, go ahead and um, pop a hole in the top, put your water hose in it, turn it on full blast, and just let it flood it. I've actually been known to just wait 30 minutes. I think I've even done it in 20 minutes. That's because I'm being impatient. But the longer you wait, the better. The more water gets absorbed. As you saw here, I hit it, I crushed it, I should say, and it just kind of like puffed up. Um, it's very dry. Um, it is towards the bottom, though. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, and this is a couple of weeks old. So here's our second part. Now, vermiculite or perlite, I tend to use just one part it's really up to you uh, depending on what I'm using it in I've used it in, in two parts as well especially with uh, cacti this is very important for you to understand about perlite perlite is basically volcanic glass and it will cut your lungs up if you breathe it in you don't want that to happen so two things you want to do first make sure you're wearing a mask if you don't have a mask make a mask go get a, a bandana wrap it around your face um, an old t-shirt you just don't want that being breathed in the other thing you want to do is when you first open it take your water hose and just spray all inside it and what that does is it weighs down any type of particles of that glass that's floating around in the air um, with water in it doesn't allow it to float so keep that in mind very important now I like getting my hands dirty so I'm going to come down here and use my hand to mix it you can use anything you can use a hoe it's up to you all right now keep in mind this one I did right here I had to only do two parts each because the tub that I'm using is just too small now the five gallon buckets that you're going to be using that scoop that I had it actually used a total of six parts 
six part peat moss, six part compost, and then I use I believe three to four parts per light. So um, that's what you'll probably need for your bucket if you get the Home Depot. Now that we've done our initial mix, we're going to add some additives to it. Right now I'm raising the pH of the mix by putting in one tablespoon or so lime for every part. Now keep this in mind. Uh, I don't think I've ever used more than a cup per five gallon container that I've mixed up. With that being said, I also have an instrument that tells me what the pH balance is for any soil or potty mix. So I'm adjusting as I need to. Sometimes you'll use less. Sometimes you might need more. Like I said, I've never had to go over a, a cup, but you never know. So you can get those relatively cheap, actually. If you can't afford a good quality one, you can still just get something to give you an idea of where you're, where you're at. I've gone to, uh, I think, Harbor Freight and purchased one. And it, I got lucky. It, it seems to be pretty, uh, pretty on, pretty on spot. So I'm now going to start putting in other nutrients. That there is worm castings or worm poop. It looks uh, like soil. It's dried up. So I'm going to sprinkle some in. I usually use it between a half cup to a full cup per five gallon. There's some other things that you can add to it. I also like to add bone meal. Some people use blood meal. Another thing I do is I take some seaweed and I'll grind it up real fine and I'll mix it in as well. I use about a tablespoon to two tablespoons per five gallon. You don't want too much of that. Now we have the potting mix completely mixed together and ready to use. It's loud as hell. 